good morning vlog. Um, today's a Thursday. Today is my day off and I've got a lot of stuff that I need to get done. Today I have some doctor's appointments and then I want to um, go get some Starbucks because I've been craving Starbucks for a while and so I'm gonna go get some Starbucks to treat myself. But the first thing on the agenda is going to the doctor which is where I'm heading right now. This one is for some shoulder pain that I've been having. My shoulders have been killing me and because I'm in a wheelchair, it's crucial that I look into it and I'm trying to get some stuff for my chair to be fixed and to get worked on. So I'm hoping having some doctor's notes for shoulder pain will help with that. Um, and then I have another appointment today that is for my ovary because I think that I have an ovarian cyst. I've been having quite a bit of pain in my ovary. so. I have to make sure that I'm drinking a lot of water today so that I can go in and get that, but that's in a few hours. So I don't know what I'm gonna do in between time because I don't wanna have to, Starbucks is in another town over and I don't wanna have to run all the way there and run all the way back. So I may go home and get some stuff done at the house and just kind of see how the day plays out. But that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna go to the doctor and find out what's going on with my shoulder and I will catch up with you guys shortly. That went very quick and she's sending me to go get an x-ray of my shoulder. I'm not sure why, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and because it's just right over there okay i was not expecting to have to have that x-ray done today i don't know why she's wanting that because well um i think it's just because i'm fat and i'm in a wheelchair and that's why my shoulder hurts but i need to have documentation of it she did put in a script for a new wheelchair though so i'm really excited i have to make the appointment to figure out what kind of chair i need to get but um that is exciting because my chair is broke to heck so that is a positive that came from that I'm also very anxious because I have to drink a lot of water for my ultrasound and your girl has a UTI so I can't stop peeing so the more I drink the more I pee and I'm scared that if I keep drinking I'm gonna pee my pants and it's just it's been a day so now I just got a message from the pharmacy that my medicine is in which is great because this is the medicine that I got prescribed yesterday for my mental health and I'm really freaking stoked that my doctor put me back on medicine because I've moved and so I stopped seeing my therapist because I moved and my mental health guys has just went down here drastically I think I said that in another video but I know that it seems like I'm doing good in these videos but that's because I film when I'm having good days not when I'm having bad days so I know it seems like I'm happy and fine but I'm obviously not gonna film my mental breakdowns I can I just just know that things have been really fucking hard for me lately and I'm struggling really really hard so I made an appointment I saw I saw a counselor and I saw a psychiatrist yesterday and he prescribed me my medicine and I'm just really freaking thankful that I'm back on it because I needed it so I'm gonna go pick that up and I'm gonna start taking it so that I can have serotonin again and uh, I don't actually know if that's how it works but um, so that I can hopefully start feeling like a fucking failure all the time. But I'm gonna go do that really quick and I will catch up with you guys when I get home. I made it home and I'm gonna try to find something to eat really quick because I'm really hungry. And then I'm gonna watch some Vlogmas vlogs. I've really been enjoying Morgan Gates' content. I don't know if you guys follow her, but you should. She's really, really awesome. I've been liking her vlogs. Um, I don't know who else I've been liking, but um, she's one that I know that I watch every single day. So definitely check her out if you haven't cats are always on my lap but I'm gonna make some food real quick and then I will show you guys what I make so I already ate but I didn't show you what I ate because it wasn't cute but I just had some bacon and eggs that sounded good so that's what I did look at this mess right now guys look at it look at the mess that is my house we're in the process of cleaning and organizing this closet because it was a disaster so we took everything out of it and we're organizing it and putting it in piles of things that we want to keep and stuff like that but it's a disaster right now Right now, this doesn't make me happy, but I know towards the end of it, it will make me happy. I have about an hour before I need to leave to go to the ultrasound. So I'm gonna watch some Vlogmas vlogs real quick and just kind of relax. I was thinking of other people that I did like. I like Carly Humbert, if you guys don't watch her, she's great. I also like um, Morgan Yates. There was somebody else that I liked watching too, but those are the two that I usually watch for their Vlogmases. So let me know who you guys have been watching Vlogmas Styles down in the comments below. Guys, what a freaking day. I just spent like 30 minutes on the phone with my insurance trying to figure out why they're denying 
my catheters. I can't get a solid answer from anybody and I'm almost out of catheters and with Christmas coming up, I don't want to run out because the shipping times are gonna be slower. But I think I got that somewhat figured out for the time being and that is good. And then my friend calls me and she's stressed out at work because these, I, we work in cell phone cells and this guy was committing fraud he was real sketchy looking and now him and his friends are posted outside of the store just waiting and she's scared that they're going to hurt her because this guy has a very long criminal record we googled his name and it's very like she sent me the criminal record guys it's insane and we i live kind of in a sketchy ass town which is where she works and i i'm fucking scared for her i feel like anxiety because of it and then through all of that, I can't stop peeing my pants. I had to call the ultrasound people and be like, listen, you guys told me to drink water, but I can't hold I can't hold urine in my bladder because I can't control my bladder, so I just keep peeing my pants. I already had a change once. I peed everywhere, and now I'm having stomach issues and I'm scared that I'm going to poop my pants. And they have to shove like this thing inside of my vagina to test my ovary. And I'm freaking out because that's personal and I don't want people to be up in my business. And I'm scared of pooping. So sorry this is too much information for you guys, but this is just my stream of consciousness talking right now because I'm feeling on heightened anxiety because my friend calling me. So that's what's going on now. I'm heading to my ultrasound hoping that I don't poop my pants. Or pee my pants, but I'd rather pee my pants than poop my pants. Anyway, doesn't matter. Hoping I don't have an accident because that would not be good. So I will see you guys after, I guess, maybe during. You want to see my ovary? Well, I'll, I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. So that doctor's office was not the best. I was feeling a lot of anxiety because of what it was. It was for my ovary, and I have a lot of. I've, ever since I was little, I feel like I couldn't have kids on my own. I've always felt that way. So when I had my car accident, I thought that that was what was going to prevent me from being able to carry my own children. And that doesn't. I can still carry children. But now that I'm getting to the age where I'm thinking about starting a family, it terrifies me so much that something's wrong. Over the last two to three months, I've been having really bad pain in my ovary, in my left ovary specifically. And it usually happens around the time that I'm set to... Um, ovulate so I don't know if it's just ovulation pain or what but my doctor recommended that I get it checked out so that's what I did and so I was already nervous about the appointment because of the nature of it and then I the lady seemed really annoyed with me and I just I, there was just a lot so I ended up calling Jacob for help and he came to help me and she got nicer after that but then as I was getting ready to leave my legs started bleeding everywhere she was like trying to help me bandage that up but I'm gonna go get my friend now because it's buy one get one free at Starbucks and I'm trying to venture out and make friends here so I asked one of my friends if she likes Starbucks and she said yeah so we're gonna go take advantage of that I probably won't vlog because vlogging with people other people is awkward so um, I will catch up with you guys soon. I did a lot of cleaning today in the office so that box that stuff part of its trash part of its garage and we're in the process of hanging up some stuff for me for when I get my desk. Because I'm going to get a second desk that's going to go right there. So we're hanging up some stuff right now for that. I'm not even sure if you can see me right now, but I have a kitty cat cuddling on me. And it has been a long day, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye!